today we're gonna be putting the NPCs against each other and we're gonna be gambling on who the winner is. That's what we're doing. We doing best of threes. Let's get our let's get our first shit popping. Let's put let's put him on the left for the first round. Put him on the right. All right, let's get it. Best two out of three. Guide versus the angler. Let's begin. Oh, guy gets off the first shot. Gets off the third and fourth and fifth. Oh my god, the angler is not even putting up a fight right now. Throw a knife, bro. There you go. Good knife throw. Oh, and he's back in the fight just like that. That's why we have those things down there so they can get back into the fight. So this is this is a pretty good matchup so far. But the angler, he's kind of like just not throwing enough, enough attacks compared to the guide. Look at the guide. Oh my god, he's on automatic. He might be missing, but he's on automatic. If the guide hits a nice shot here, the angler might have a chance to get back on the stage. Has to be a really good high shot. Ooh. And there you go. He's back again. Oh my god. He survived twice? But he's still going to take the L. The guide is just more aggressive than him. All right. The first round goes to the guide. Good job, guide. That was a matchup right there. That was a better matchup than I thought it was going to be. All right, we have the guide on the right. We're going to put him on the left this time. Let's go round two. Guide with the first shot again. He's just more aggressive than the fisherman or the angler, plain and simple. Maybe it's because the angler is a little boy. But I don't know. The angler is kind of an asshole. Everybody, he's got that uh, reputation of being an asshole. So, like, you'd think he'd be angry and he'd have to get his anger out. And this is his chance to get his anger out. But he's a little slow on the draw. Like, come on, bro. Get some shots out. Okay. This is close. If the angler can keep it up. The angler honestly might have been tied if he didn't throw that one knife at the ceiling. For some reason, he threw a knife at the ceiling. Who knows why? He probably threw it at me. Just because I was talking shit about him. That's his fault. Maybe don't throw it at me next time, asshole. And just like that, we have our winner. The guide, he wins the best two out of three congratulations to everybody that voted the guide all right we need another good matchup i think we should do a melee matchup here i think a little melee matchup might be good this might be a slow matchup because they're both melee but honestly that might make it interesting all right let's get it round one best two out of three two melee characters let's get it let's see who's gonna take the w let's see if they move There you go. <laughs> Woke him up. Die Trader retreating to the edge immediately. We do know that the Die Trader has some good edge guard from the little practice we've seen. We've seen the Die Trader get out of this in the little practice against the uh, tax collector. But this ain't the tax collector. This is the stylus. She got cool scissors. I think the scissors are cooler than the scimitar. But who knows? Because I never would use them in an actual playthrough, honestly. This is a close matchup as expected with two melee characters. It's weird how the melee hits work. It's like so random. Like legit, this is anybody's fight. I feel like if you get knocked off the edge in this fight though, you're probably going straight into lava. Gotta go straight into the lava. Has to be. Because like I don't feel like the knockback is going to be as strong. I don't know. This is super close. I think they have the exact same health. Oh, that's a good bunch of hits right there. A flurry of hits from the stylus. And it looks like the stylist might take this unless the die trader gets some hits off. Oh, it's really close. This is close as hell. Oh, good hit from the stylist. Die trader hits right back, though. I think one more hit and the stylist wins. Oh, oh my god. This is down to the wire. Oh my god. They both had one hit each. That's crazy. That was a good fight. That was a good matchup. So is that stylus takes one battle fight all right there you go gave them both a hit it seems like the person on the left always retreats to the edge first which is interesting to say the least but here we go who's gonna win the swinging of the weapons battle you think a scimitar would definitely be more deadly than a pair of scissors, though. But I don't know. That's a big pair of scissors. <laughs> I ain't never seen scissors that big. At that point, you'd consider them shears. So who knows? Anyone's game. 
so you got my heart racing this is another close fight i think the die trader is up a hit or two which is nice you, we want to see a flurry of hits because every now and then they could hit like a double hit it's really random but it comes every now and then very close fight the die trader still has a one hit lead oh and just like that it's tied the stylist landing two hits oh my god die trader getting another quick hit in there oh my god the stylist got two hits in there i think the die trader is one hit away i think they're both one hit away oh now it's one hit away for both of them this is anybody's game who's gonna take it oh the die trader two hits it was actually two hits away and look at that the left side retreats every time every single time the left side is the side that retreats i don't know man maybe they're just not feeling it on the left side the slimes are not going the direction this oh there they go now they are i think the stylus is gonna take this i have a feeling the stylus is gonna take this it seems like the person on the right usually wins every time so you know we'll see what happens the stylus got very very close the stylist got really close. She honestly could have come back if she really tried that hard. Because she was like a hit off. You see that how the die trader just landed two hits? The die trader is up right now. If the die trader can manage those two hits. Like look at that. The die trader is up. The die trader is up. Oh my god. The die trader is still up. Stylist has not traded enough blows. Oh. And as I say that, a double hit from the stylus? I think that's a dub for the stylus. Oh my god. Oh! Unless the die trader. Oh my god! The double hit from the die trader to seal the deal. That was fucking clutch. <laughs> that was clutch. A left side one? What? That was insane, bro. Die trader takes the W. That was a good matchup. That was a good matchup with the NPCs. Damn, this dude is ready to go. Do you see him? He's an antsy, bro. Let's get it. Round one, best of three. Witch Doctor versus the Clothier. Boom. Projectile gods. Okay, maybe not gods, but projectile shooters, which means I don't have to slap them with the slime. This should be a good matchup. This really should be a good matchup. It's all on the accuracy, and they've been 100% accurate so far. The Clothia, though, he's been kind of scary every now and then. Looks like he might miss by a little bit. But other than that, it is a close fight. Oh, we got our first miss. We got our first miss, and that might seal the deal. The first miss, and I think it's all over. Just like that. Just like that, Witch Doctor takes round one off of just a miss. One miss, literally. Changed the whole entire fight. That's crazy. All right, Witch Doctor will be on the right this time. Clothier will be on the left. Let's get it. Round two starting. It's all on the... Oh, we already have our first miss shot, but the Witch Doctor didn't retaliate immediately after the miss shot. Meaning that the Clothier is still up. He's still up a shot. If he misses, though, it's over for him. Okay, well, actually, no. They might be tied if he misses. But right now, he is up a hit or two. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. The Witch Doctor is on it. Did you see that? That was like two, three hits back to back. But uh, the Clothier still has a lead. He still has a crazy lead. He just needs to close it out. If he misses here, he might end up selling. There we go. And we got a good matchup here today. We got a good matchup here today. Good job, Nigel. Round three. Clothier starting off first with a good hit. Last time he... Oh, and here comes the early miss. But he follows it up with another hit right away. That miss really can change the tide of the fight. I think it's actually really close right now. Oh, he misses again and again? Three misses in one fight? I think we might have a winner. Oh, he's coming back quick, though. Those were some quick attacks he just put back out. Oh, but the Witch Doctor is sending shots back. Three shots in a row. Four in a row with no retaliation. Oh, my God. Witch Doctor takes the W.
round one of three. Let's get it. Oh, and the demo gets a first grenade off. You love to see it. Usually the person that throws the first hit is the winner. They're both trying to hit me with grenades. What if I do this? There you go. Now throw a grenade at me. It'll bounce off of the roof. Oh, and the party girl finally throws another grenade. Please stop trying to attack me. It's not good for you. Hey, look. At least. Oh. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> I've never seen anybody go that far left. <laughs> Round one goes to the demolitionist. Congratulations, Demo. Demo, you're on the left side this time. Party girl, you're on the right. Let's get it. Begin the fight. Don't throw any grenades at me if you want to be able to win. Let's get it. Oh, the demo. Two nades. Okay, they're tied up with the nades. I think the demos actually hurt a little bit more now. Actually, no. I think they're tied up perfectly. Oh! The demo falls off. The question is, does he know how to get back onto the stage? Do I have to help him? <laughs> He's back up on the stage. He might have needed a little bit of an assist, but he's back up there. Party girl still trying to throw nades at me. Throwing a lot of nades at me. But that one, ooh, little two-piece combo? You love to see it. Honestly, them throwing it up at me and it bouncing. Oh my god, the party girl pretty much fell off. But yeah, they could like land a little combo. Uh oh. And the party girl gets revenge. We got a we got us a matchup here today. Alright, let's get it. Final round. It's tied one to one. It's anybody's game. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is flying off the edge. He gotta get some retaliation in there. Party girl throws a high grenade. Boom. Oh. If the demo throws one more nade, oh, never mind. Okay, I thought the party girl was about to go flying. But it is pretty close. That high grenade, honestly, might be more dangerous than just throwing a regular grenade. Oh, oh my god. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Oh, okay, we gotta do a rematch. Unfortunate timing. All right, running back rematch. Let's get it. The high grenade from the demo. Oh my God. I think the high grenade is like the winner. The high grenade always works. They try to throw a grenade at me. It ends up being amazing. Good job, demolitionist. You take the W. Fernand, gas bag. <laughs> Who's gonna win, Fernand or gas bag? We got a good matchup here. Let's see it in action. I'm hoping gas bag takes a W. He's got a great name. Fernand sounds like a name that just doesn't have an end, right? It's like Fernandez, Fernando. It's like no, just Fernand. Like what the hell kind of name is that? The cook is just too dominant, though. I think the cook, you know, his past experience. In the NPC arenas, the, he fought in the OG arena. I think he's just gonna take the W just because of that. Good job, Cook. I think that was honestly a pretty one sided fight. Let's get it. Damn, look how close he is. He wants smoke. Let's see him. Oh, he gets off the first shot. I knew he wanted some smoke, but. The merchant or the guns, what the fuck is his name? The arms dealer got off a good couple of shots there. It's very close right now. I think he's actually tied right here. Still pretty close. Every now and then, one of them will shoot off two shots. And those two shots can make a really big difference. I don't think these dudes are the type to miss, so... I think we're going to have a clear fight. Alright, you know what's funny? You can see his head right here, and it has a hat. But there's another hat right here. What the fuck? <laughs> Arms dealer takes the first one. Round two. Let's see it. Oh, good shots right off the bat. But it seems like the arms dealer, you know, he does deal in arms. So he's going to be the better gun user. Has to be. The traveling merchant never sells fucking guns 90% of the time. He just sells garbage. So, like, honestly, 
I can see a clear winner here. I see a very easy clear winner again. There's his head with the hat, and he dropped another hat. What the fuck? <laughs> Round one, begin. The matchup of the century. Oh my God. What? <laughs> what? Motherfucker just hoik? And just like that, the cactus takes the first round. <laughs> what an interesting first round. Cactus guy got to go on the left side. Oh shit, juiced. Yeah, he might take the W here. With a name like that? Let's see if Captain Bullywort has anything to say. Let's begin round two. Cactus usually gets the hits off first, but the pirate literally can what the fuck again? The pirate literally can launch anywhere. Oh my god. This might be a fucking sweep. I'm leaving the cages open so they don't hoik. Alright, begin round three. The final round. Oh, Oh, there we go. The power of the pirate's cannon. Oh, damn. That shit still did damage to him. Two to one. Round, was this, four? Two to one? Let's see it. Oh, the cactus missed the first shot, bro. And he killed himself. And just like that, we're tied up. Can anybody say throwing? <laughs> All right, let's go. Final round. Who's taking it in this crazy matchup? What the fuck did I just witness? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> do I do we do a rematch? Cactus went out of bounds. Yeah, I think we gotta do a rematch because he went out of bounds. All right, here we go. We're running it back after they went flying. Let's see what happens. Wait, I gotta keep that open. The cactus. Oh, has great positioning on the pirate. Oh my god. <laughs> he took the high ground on the pirate. This cactus, bro. I have to press the button, so I'm gonna teleport back and I gotta go back over there. All right, there you go. Round one. The cobbler already like starting off the fight with like three or four shots. Oh, he still shot upward. Did you see that? Oh, he's still shooting upwards. <laughs> Who knows why? The witch doctor has a chance to catch up because he shot upwards a bunch of times. But I don't think the witch doctor took... F I take it back. The witch doctor took 100% full advantage of that fight. Or the, uh, the miss shots that the cobbler did. Put the witch doctor on the right... Cobbler on the left. Boom. Next round. Begin. Hopefully none of them shoot at the sky for some reason. Oh. Right as I said it. Dude shot at the sky. Dude shot straight towards the sky. Look at him. The witch doctor isn't shooting at the sky. I just think NPCs are really stupid. So they're going to do what they do. Close fight though. Really is a close fight. Witch Doctor taking full advantage of every missed shot. And the Witch Doctor takes the W. You hate to see it. It's just whoever wins, wins, you know? Go ahead, everyone have at it. Can't even see what's going on in the bottom left. People battling behind the death techs. We got an interesting crowd left. The pirate NPC, one of the ones that are alive. Oh no, who would have thought that one of the strongest NPCs would have been left? The only one with a projectile. <laughs> There was a whole ass melee duel going on, and this motherfucker just comes in with his gun. He said, what's up, everybody? I got a gun. All right, let's see Commando. 
collector. Whoa. Dude's killing himself. Oh. <laughs> he said, hell no, I'm out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Why is he bee hopping? <laughs> Did you see that shit? That dude was bunny hopping, bruh. He had momentum. This cactus is crazy. I don't know what's up with him and like how much momentum he has. Look, look at this. Why does he move so much? <laughs> he goes fucking flying. Let's get it. Witch Doctor versus the Clothier. <laughs> okay, I guess not that one. Should we try NPC racing? You guys want to try NPC racing? Let me see if this shit works. Diver. Acolyte. Let's get it. Ready, set. Begin. Who's gonna take the W today? They're literally stacked on top of each other. Like, I literally cannot see them. They are so, like, perfectly lined up. Oh! No longer perfectly lined up. Diver! Looking like he's gonna stop. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force him to go forward. If he doesn't want to go forward, he doesn't have to. Because everybody else is going forward but him. He said, I don't really feel like racing. Let's see who takes the W. I gotta make sure I close this door so nobody gets stuck outside. Okay, they both got stuck outside. There you go. And make sure to kill the zombie. Boom. Who sits down first? That's the winner. The. Oh. Blacksmith sat down first. Blacksmith sat down first. We had a nice fast winner. Damn, it was a 50 50 vote, apparently. It was a 50 50 vote.